hello guys in this lecture we are gonna learn html style attribute or inline style but first i want to explain why we need this style thing because we may need to change the look of any html element maybe a background color a font size or color whatever we want to control in terms of style we can do that it is easy and i will teach you all in this video let's start with coding our standard HTML structure doc type HTML this is the document type declaration and then HTML between these two HTML tags we have to add head and body sorry we don't have to do this because um, to be honest we don't need to code this skeleton because our elements will work without body head or html or doc type declaration but i want you to be professional web developers so it is important to get used to the common structure i hope you understand okay now i can add a title here document title um and the title is style attribute or or in other words um inline inline style okay this part is okay and uh, I will add level 1 heading here this is the most important text in this document okay so let's check and see how it looks okay i have a heading this is the most important text in this document that's right because this is level one heading and this is the most important text at least uh it must be the most important text in the entire html document so um, i want uh this text to be green so how can I do that? How can I fix this problem? Um, it is easy. I, I should add a style attribute and color green. Yeah. And semicolon. I have to add at the end of this CSS rule a semicolon. Okay. So my text. Oh, my heading is now green it is cool so what if i want to add a text decoration an underline effect so it is simple text decoration underline so it is underlined now and what if i want to add a background color yes i can do that as well background color yellow so let's see yes and i think uh it would be good if i can center align this whole tag so I can do that as well text align center yes so I I can um, summarize this um, CSS rules colors to change the text color okay 
and text decoration. So give an underline or overline effect. I can change this and uh, make it overline so yes, it is different, right? And another value is line through like this. So if um, if you have a text and you want this text to be line through because this text is not uh, not true or not valid for for that moment. So you want that text uh, to be seen like this, okay? So it can be handy to see this effect, but mostly uh, we can use underline. That's enough, okay? And background color, background color. Um, this property is used to give the element a nice background color. Another thing is text align, okay? to line the text to left, right or center. Yeah, let's see. I can um, change this like left, so left. I can change this right so my text is aligned to right okay but i want it to be centered so center i also change uh, the text size it is possible i just need to add the font size property okay font size or the 6px so let's see yes the text is bigger now but I can um, make bigger so this is really big okay so another thing is font size change the font size we use font size property to change the font size exactly so I can um, make this text smaller or bigger it is up to this value okay you can change this like 16 so the text is so small This one is good. Okay. Another value is um another thing is padding. So um I want to define a padding. What is padding? Padding is this, okay? space around your text so when I remove this 
padding to dpx roll you can see the difference okay white space around the text what if I change this value to 100 px you see the difference and um, can be really uh, handy in terms of design because it is important um, to give a really professional look to, to your entire design so padding is an important CSS rule you can do that using internal style or external style or an inline style like this because this is style attribute and this whole thing is inline CSS on inline style this is nothing to do with external or internal style because if uh, if I add a style element here and add my CSS rules here those are um, internal styles but this is nothing to do with our lecture right now because we are talking about in inline styles okay not internal styles I want to give another example style and leave it empty for now this is or I can cut my explanations or notes here and paste them here okay yeah I know um, here is a poem problem I have talked about this poem problem in my paragraph tutorial but it is easy to solve this problem I can add line break tags at the end of those lines and solve this problem yeah I also change the text and font size sorry font size 25 px so I have a bigger text now also change color color red also font weight font weight bold yes also um, text align center I can also add a background color background color um, I should use color pick writing very white blue a padding value adding to the px okay guys that's all for now thank you for watching my this video and i hope you find this useful if you have any questions feel free to ask by using commenting section under this video if you have any questions i can uh, make a video for you so you only need to ask okay Thank you.